Albion's first away day of Simon of the season is a trip to Molyneux to face Wolves. Matoma definitely fancies himself against Tomato, and why wouldn't you? Because he's away from two, and Matoma breezing past. What a run! What a goal from Matoma! The dancing feet of Kaoru Matoma does the damage. And Alpian lead after less than quarter of an hour. That was brilliant. It didn't look on from there, but he danced past two. Beat a third. And then that is a classy finish after a magical run. Opposition defenders sick of the sight of Kaoru Matoma, but Brighton fans can't get enough. What a player, what a goal. And Albion lead at Molyneux. Still had work to do when he burst into the area, but he made it look very, very easy indeed. Cunha away from Milner. He's got the runner through the middle and Silva is onside and galloping through. Jason Steele is there and he makes a really important save with his legs. I don't think Silva was offside. Great work from Cunha. I think he's bent his run brilliantly to stay onside, but the finish was poor in the end. There's the and in charge at Brighton. Tony Bloom and Paul Barber watch on. No doubt thrilled by another Matoma masterpiece. And the scoreline so far. Long way to go yet though. And Silva could be away here. Neto. Neto still. And Neto clips the side netting as he flashes it goalwards. sums up the Wolves conundrum plenty of menace but no end product England manager Gareth Southgate watching on and marches back but Eight Nuri goes through and Eight Nuri over the bar huge chance for the Wolves left back Definitely on side. Clips it well over. He had a good long look. Couldn't find the net. Gilmore. Gross. Hounded by Lamina, but still finding the pass to March. And he clips it over the top. And that is a delightful ball to Welbeck. And he forces a save from Saar. Falls for Matoma. Cuts it back. Estupinian. Clinical. What a start to the second half. Same combination as the first. This time Mitoma to Estupinian. That Solly March pass opened up the Wolves defence. Saar on the stretch made a good save. Mitoma had the composure and Estupinian did the rest. This was a good stop. Matoma had the vision, knew where Estepinian was. He always seems to. And it's a smart finish from the Ecuadorian. Low and hard. And Albion 2-0 to the good right at the start of the second half. goes and CISO's onside and then CISO has acres of space only March to aim for in the middle oh but he finds it superbly just class from back to front Albion showing why it's called the beautiful game another goal 
of sublime quality. Absolutely brilliant football. Two in two for Solly March. The pass from Gilmore. So good. Even better this from Enciso. Oh, what a ball. Begging to be put in the net. And Solly March said, thank you very much. Scores his second of the season. Didn't even need to break stride. Albion motoring away now. 3-0 to the good. Solly March amongst the goals again. Gross from deep into Welbeck, who is happy to drop into midfield to collect. And Ciso running in beyond Kilman, and Ciso looking to scoop above Saar. Walls are all over the place. Credit to Brighton, who've been thrilling at the start of this second half, but Wolves haven't held themselves at all. As Brighton win it back again and go again. Well back, moving into space. And Ciso, a willing runner. Here is Enciso. Enciso across goal. March again. 4 0. What is happening at Molyneux? Brighton tearing walls apart. Same combination, same result. Enciso to March. And Albion look home and dry with more than half an hour to play. What a team they are. Welbeck waited for the right pass and Enciso simply looked up and provided another inch perfect cross for March in the middle. And he did the rest. Joyous to watch. Semedo in support. Semedo across. He's been caught by Estepinian here, who may well go into the book. Oh, it's off the bar. Still alive. Oh, what a stop from Steele. Jason Steele, who's had nothing to do in this second half makes an absolutely brilliant stop here. Firstly off the crossbar and then Steele gets across. And that is in. 4-1. Albion wagging a finger. They think this should be chalked off. Bit of confusion here as it came across. Not sure what Albion are appealing for. There was no offside unless they think that one of the players in the middle touched it. And Wolves can celebrate. A yellow card here for another one for Mateus Nunes. This is third of the afternoon. Cunha was caught and then decides it's better just to get on with it. Cunha gets it back. Bueno, it's going to fall to Nunes. No, it's not, because guess who's there? Adam Webster again. And Nunes is going to get sent off here, surely. It's ridiculous from Nunes. Got involved for absolutely no reason. And he's already on a yellow, and he's going to see red. Mateus Nunes, afternoon ends with a red card sent off for a needless incident which piles further despair on the afternoon for the hosts and their manager Gary O'Neill this is what sparked it Webster was there Nunes pushing Webster over the goalkeeper and then just tried to get at Adam Webster so stupid, so unnecessary. And there is the final whistle. As starts to the season go for Brighton, it just doesn't get any better. 
two wins from two, six points from six and eight goals scored playing a thrilling brand of football. That's a joy to behold.